In this video I'm going to be attempting to use the Easy Edge module to split this bridge. So this is actually relatively easy. Firstly I'm going to be aligning the bridge to the center of Blender. So here we go, it's facing down which is OK. I'm going to go to the Easy Edge module which is the new module which is going to be released very soon. This, these are the teeth, this is object management and I'm going to be using these teeth for milling. So the next step would be to select the bridge and then try and allocate an edge loop going all the way around. This is usually the margin of the crown. The sole purpose of this is to make these objects, tubes, that actually safeguard the inside of these tooth preparations. So again, we're going to flip this into the collection. For a bridge, you always have to put it again into the collection. So select edge loops, zoom in, double click on the edge, make sure it goes all the way around, and then make a tube. And I'm going to do this for each and every one of them. Okay, this is looking good. Select it, put it back into the collection. This is very important, don't forget it. It needs to be light blue in color. We're going to select the edge again. And here it didn't select the whole lot. Let's try and select this one. Okay, this one also didn't work. Let's try one more time. And this time it worked. So sometimes you have to uh, just try and try again to select it. If it doesn't select, then you're going to have to use the outline tooth preparation. I think this bridge would do the job. So select it, edge loop, zoom in, double click on that edge, and then make a tube. Okay, I'm going to hit the fast forward button. Great, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select all of these. So select, shift, left click on all of them. And we're going to make cones. Now, the idea of this cones is to set the minimal thickness. So if I look and use Alt B, for example, you can see it's made a cutting tool, but at a certain thickness. And this is this is going to be your minimum thickness of the crown. So if it's 0 0.5, if you think you can make it at 0 0.5, keep it at 1, otherwise set it to whatever you think it needs to be. So as you can see, this will then expand like that. Okay, let's just keep it at 1, which would be 0 0.5 divided by 2, and accept that, and then this is going to be a cutting tool that is used for making the cut down the line. Okay, next step is we're going to select it, go to the next menu, here the thickness, select it and then check your thickness. This can be quite important, especially when you've got very thin crowns. So here we can see the thickness, this is a measure between the orange over here, the cones, and the outside of your actual uh, bridge. So here what I'm doing is I'm just uh, making it a little bit thicker. Of course, I don't have the antagonist for this case, so I need to be careful with this, otherwise I'm going to create a high bite. Okay, I'm going to take care that I don't move it out of occlusion. After that, exit, and I'm going to quickly smooth it where I've expanded the mesh outward. The next red button is to mark the occlusion, to cut the occlusion, but we don't have an antagonist over here. Now, what I want to do is I want to store the scene. So, we it's not that important to be parallel to these attachments because what I want to do is I want to carve out the labial surface of these so it'll be a milled edge but on the other side. 
So let's try that. I'm just going to have a look at it a little bit like this and we're going to store the scene. Now when we store the scene we can easily reset the scene. Over here we would delete the scene so if you want to make a new scene. All right now I'm going to select the bridge, place my cursor and then we're going to create a curve. Now this curve needs to be extended all the way this way all the way over here as well but also I want to put more points down so what I do is A to select all of them click on the plus sign you'll notice that it'll double all of these all right so here I'm going to zoom in and we want to just get the labial surface only so here it's going to cut across like that across like that and I'm going to click A and I'm going to click on plus one more time just to increase the number of vertices over here so here I'm going to chop away all of this like that so this takes a bit of careful planning and thinking like that So be careful of your mesh structure over here. This can cause issues. The Boolean sometimes can cause issues if it is overlapping. So when you design these bridges, make sure to smooth the interproximal contact areas a little bit better than this bridge. It's very important. So from here, we're going to cut off the labial surface. Okay, let's see how that actually looks extrude cut curve into cutting great so here we can see we've got a cutting tool and how easy was that it's all parallel uh, that was very very quick to do we've got a bit of a margin over here now assuming this is milled out of zirconia and the other side is milled out of um, an emacs or something all right, so this was super, super, super easy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to commit to this. So I'm going to cut the milled shoulder. So if you wanted to smooth it, you can still smooth that down. I'm just going to save the file. So you will notice that when I click on smooth, we've got a protective area on the inside like that and that's just simply so that you you can't mess around with the inside of it so here i'll just smooth it down a little bit to get it more of a, a closer to the margin to get it more of an aesthetic edge over here now you may wonder how on earth are we going to get the other side? And this is where the magic happens. And I'll demonstrate in a minute. Okay, so here we've got it nicely smoothed down. Always think about smoothing sharp edges down because it makes uh, the production, post-production way simpler and easier. Okay, I'll, I will go with that and leave the rest. Let's see the outcome of that. So I'm going to exit my smoothing. Now we're going to make the milled rest. Okay, so this is the milled rest like that. And hopefully it's going to do what it needs to do. Now here we've got an offset of 0 0.1. You may wonder what on earth is that? And the offset is the airspace between the veneer and the other structure. And you can set that. So if it's too tight or too loose, hey, this is where you're going to set it. So let's click on finish assembly. Hopefully we've got part A and part B done with the airspace in between. Gosh, and like magic, 
we've got our vignette surface. Now of course the colors are actually made to be milled surfaces and this is why it's gold. I'm just going to change that quickly over here. Let's make this white and we're just going to make this a little bit different in color, delete color and make put a new color over here. So we can sort of sort of visualize uh, how this is going to pan out. Perfect. Very happy with the result. And um, let's just hide the one like that. And let's have a look at the other side. So this is the easy edges. I uh, hope you like it. Okay. Okay, bye.